Hey everybody, this is Mike from Videoblocks.com. I want to show you a tutorial today on how to do an animated text introduction in After Effects. Whether you're doing projects for yourself or for clients, this is a valuable skill to learn and will help your projects look much more professional. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. The first step is to create a new composition. I'm going to go ahead and leave the default settings for now. Next, I like to create a solid to act as my background. So go to Layer, New, Solid. We'll hit OK. And then let's go ahead and add a gradient to give it a little more character. So here we go, gradient ramp, and drag that on. Now in the Effects Controls panel, we can add uh, and play with uh, some different parameters here. So nice deep red. You can choose whether it's linear or radial. Um, we'll keep it linear for now. And I'll just swap the colors to have a nice deep base. So that's good, and uh, we have our background set. Next step is adding our text. To do that, go to the T icon or the Type tool. Uh, the shortcut is Command T on your keyboard. So those are really useful to learn. So we'll type. All right. Type your text right there. And to get out of the Type tool, uh, go to the Selection tool. And then we can go to the layer in the timeline and just the transform properties by clicking the drop down arrow here. So scale is the size of the text. All right. That looks good. We'll move it around. And I think that's set for now. OK. So what I want to do is add a second one really quick so I have two different uh, ways to animate. So I'll click again, and I'll click here. All right, and we'll move that around and kind of offset it a little bit. All right, so now that you've got your uh, text uh, all set, uh, what you can actually do is go over to the character panel. And if you want to adjust to anything, uh, including fonts, uh, fill colors, um, you can do that here. So what I'm going to do for the bottom one is just change the font just to mix up the design a little bit. OK, so we've got our uh, text parameters right here, and we're ready to animate. The next step, uh, what I want to do is have this text slide in uh, from both sides of the screen. So we want to adjust the position. So you can go to the Transform Properties, uh, but P is Position. So let's go ahead and type P, and that'll bring up just position. So what we can do is take our playhead and move that to about two seconds of the timeline, and then hit a keyframe. So what we're doing here is telling the text, this is where we want the final text to end up in our project. So this is the final position. And if we take our playhead back to the beginning, we can actually move this text and drag it around. And you can hold Shift to uh, keep it straight and copy the parameters. You can see that it's already animated in. Boom. So we'll go ahead and just do that for the second one. We'll drag our playhead out and hold Shift to have it snap to a keyframe so it's in time with this text. We'll hit a keyframe on the stopwatch. We'll bring, a, we'll bring uh, this back to the beginning, except we'll move this one out coming this way. OK, so if we scrub through really quick, there we go. looks good. Now, if we play this back, you can see it kind of stops abruptly. The way to stop that is to highlight the keyframes, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, go to Easy Ease. So now you'll see it kind of slows down a little more naturally there. And finally, to make your text movement look a little more natural, what we want to do is add a nice blur to it. So we'll go to Effects and Presets. We'll type Motion Blur, and we'll apply that to both of the texts. All right, and you can see that kind of blur a little bit, like it's it's moving there. So it looks a lot more natural. Great. So the next step is I want to get some animation going in my text. 
What I'll do here is actually just click the drop down. And we'll see text and there's an animate option. So this allows you to adjust all kinds of variables within your text. So we'll go ahead and choose scale. You'll see this option range selector pop up. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll drag our playhead to about two seconds of the timeline. And what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe. We want this to go to 100%. And then we'll go back to the beginning. Hit another keyframe and have the start be at zero. Then we'll go to the scale option and change the scale option to zero. So what we're saying is start the scale at zero and start it at 0% and bring it to 100. And what you'll see is the text pops up, kind of animates in there. All right, so let's just do it, uh, that for the second one really quick as well. So we'll go to animate, scale, range selector. Two seconds. Hit a keyframe, go to 100, go back to the beginning, hit another keyframe, make it zero, and then make the scale zero as well. All right, so here we go. Our text is popping in, and it looks great animation so far. Okay, now that we've got our basic animation, let's stylize this text a little. So let's go ahead and select our text. We'll get our first one and go to Effect. Then we'll go to Stylize and then Glow. So giving our text a nice little glow here. So we can adjust all kinds of uh, different parameters, uh, threshold, how, how bright it is. Um, we'll leave that at the default for now the glow radius, uh, how much is coming off. Keep it a little higher for the uh, for the thin text there and uh, glow intensity as well. And then what we'll actually do to get a little pop and complement to our background is you can select uh, the glow to be the colors of the original stroke and fill or you can add new colors. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll choose the drop down A and B colors so color A, color B, and we'll get this orange and cool yellow. All right. So that's a subtle change, but you can see it kind of works with the background. We'll go ahead and kind of duplicate or uh, somewhat uh, duplicate this on the second uh, layer of text as well. So glow. And then the effect controls, you can adjust uh, what you like. Um, turn down the threshold and radius uh, for this one a little bit so it's not overpowering. And you can just do a quick check in the uh, timeline itself. So we'll go ahead and bring that down. Yeah, let's leave it right there. Okay. And then we'll go A and B colors. Quick orange, quick yellow, and you can see that pop a little more on the second one. Now let's go ahead and add some effects to get the audience's attention. Let's go ahead and click Effect, Light Wipe. And then you can see when I adjust the completion percentage, it's got this light wipe that's actually animating with the text uh, as it forms. So that's a really cool effect. So let's go ahead and uh, open our current animation properties for this layer. Let's use the shortcut U on your keyboard so you can see everything that's currently animated. All right, what we wanna do is kind of the same way that we did a backwards animation uh, for the uh, original text position. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe. Uh, set this to 100%. Take it to the end and bring it to zero. So you can see how that plays out there. 
and then we'll just do a similar effect for the second layer of text. All right. U for the parameters. Go to the beginning, click the keyframe. We'll start it at 100. There we go. We'll bring it down to zero. It's cool watching that animate in. And then you can adjust different parameters like the intensity uh, and where the center of that is. So we'll leave that for now. And if we do a RAM preview, this is what this uh, looks like so far. Okay, now that we've got our basic animation, what we want is for our text to kind of animate out. So we'll go ahead and uh, select the effects option here. We'll go to animation presets. Now After Effects has all of these pre-stored animations, which are great. So you can use text animation, and there's already a box for animate out. So you can do this manually. So say I wanted to have this enlarge and then pop out. What I could do is uh, go to the type uh, your text layer, hit the scale, and then have this uh, pop up and then disappear really quickly. But After Effects makes it really easy. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just select. So we'll select twirl out each line. So when you get to the end, it's going to do this cool scramble and take the text out. So we'll hit that for both layers really quick. Boom. So if I scrub through, what I see is my text appears and holds on the screen for a while, and then it just flies out. And you can see because we have that cool motion blur, it looks a lot more realistic. All right. So that's the end, and our text will uh, disappear once we put an end uh, to that layer. OK, and we'll load up a RAM preview really quickly. All right, and here it is, our final product. All right, guys, thanks for watching that tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful in getting you started with animating text in After Effects. If you want more tutorials or tips, check out our YouTube page. Or if you want more After Effects templates, go to videoblocks.com where we have thousands of After Effects templates that allow you to just type your text in animations that are preset and ready to go just like this. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.